Hello, my name is Marcus. I'm the creator of Icarus, and today I want to show you how you can program the arpeggiator. <laughs> Icarus comes with a very powerful and flexible arpeggiator. You can find the arpeggiator on the left bottom of the interface and you can switch it on by clicking on the on button. And if I play a chord, uh, it now will start the arpeggiator. By clicking on the tool button, you can uh, change the direction. Currently it's, it's playing upwards. And uh, by setting the direction to down, you can make it play downwards. Or up and down. There are also uh, a large number of interesting templates. Um, those templates are saved uh, within .arp files and they can be loaded, saved and managed on your hard disk. You can find it in the Icarus underscore arp directory. Here is for example uh, Max Left Melody. So you can uh, program uh, complete melodies within the arpeggiator here. And uh, there you can also play chords within the arpeggiator. Please note that I only press a single key on the keyboard and the arpeggiator itself uh, automatically creates a chord. So there is also uh, the possibility to create uh, a very complex uh, ARP alliance, for example, uh, this one. Or this one. And then you got the possibility uh, to create glides. And also uh, shuffled rhythms, like in this reggae template.
and you got the possibility to split the high and low keys. In this case, the lower keys will play the arpeggiator, while the higher part of the keys um, bypasses the arpeggiator. You can stack chords. Then we got the swing function. I reset the arpeggiator by clicking Tool and Reset now. And um, to drop your own notes, um, you can click on this grid here. and uh, loop this and half tones can be done by clicking and drawing the mouse up and down bottom you can find a uh, number of uh, important controls. The first one is the speed of the arpeggiator. Currently it, it is set to 1 uh, divided by 1, which is the default speed. Um, I can make the arpeggiator faster by selecting another speed. Or slower. Then we got a section which is called loop. Loop 32 means that uh, the arpeggiator is looped after 32 slots. On some case, cases you just want to save time and if you're doing something very simple uh, you might uh, want to, to stick with uh, something like loop 8 which loops after 8 slots because it's, it saves you some time with the programming. <laughs> And there is the possibility to select stop. Stop 8 does mean that the arpeggiator plays for a single time and then stops after 8 slots. Uh, here are um, playing 8s and octaves. Um, if you set octaves to off, the arpeggiator will create no additional uh, notes and just play uh, the keys that you press on the keyboard. In this case, if I have a, I've pressed a chord with three keys, it will also generate a melody with uh, three keys. And if I select two octaves, it will uh, create uh, another three keys, which are one octave higher. Here you can also create uh, chords automatically, which does mean uh, if you uh, press a single key, uh, a complete chord is created. There are also fifths. And there is also the dual layer mode. In uh, this mode, uh, the arpeggiator bypasses uh, the keys that you press on the keyboard and, additional to this, plays the arpeggiator. There are 
also a number of small signs on the bottom of the arpeggiator. Plus does mean that the arpeggiator in the current slot plays upwards. You can quickly change it uh, by setting the direction to down to make it play downwards. Then you got a minus here. If you select the direction up and down, it would first play upwards and then play downwards. In this case, you got plus minus here. And uh, there are also a large number of additional special modes here. And you can find a detailed description of them in the handbook. What's what's interesting here also that I was I want to note here is uh, the all slot, and the all slot is especially useful in in a combination with chords. And if you get all here, it will play all keys which are defined here at the same time, and here only a single note. The arpeggiator of Icarus it's a polyphonic arp. It's not limited to playing single notes. It can also play chords or combine chords with single notes.